Hello guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea. We are heading down to the south coast this weekend and as we do every week or normally every week if we can find somebody, we get an opposition fan to tell us a bit about their club. We are joined by Freddie from the Ugly Inside. Mate, it's been a while, how are you? I'm alright. Uh, could be <laughs> better. Mate, I'm, de I'm depressed by the entire situation Saints find themselves in, mate. No, I, I mean... It is a bit of a shock uh, for me personally. Obviously, with the squad you have, you, Manolo, Gabbiadini, uh, well, and as well as that, you've got uh, in Lamina, you've got a guy who's been in the Champions League final last yeah. season. So, you know, it's 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 a massive shock. Um, but yeah, obviously, let, let's let's talk a little bit about your your run this season. Obviously, let's talk about since Pellegrino was sacked. Um, Sparky has come in, obviously, yeah. uh, a man which has uh, never gone down as Robbie Savage likes to say, but often seems to spin the wheels in motion to the <laughs> clubs that uh, do seem to be down there. H how's he been for you? Uh, well, he gave us the immediate spark um, for the FA Cup game against Wigan. You know, people say, people brush it off because it's a League One side, but it was a very good performance in the second half of that game. Uh, Wigan could have been 2-0 up in that first half, but uh, obviously he must have got into lads at half-time, turned it around, and that was a, you know, a good spark, a good um, start that he... Uh, you started off with, but since then, you know, 3 0 away at West Ham, pathetic performance, probably worse than the Newcastle game, which really pushed uh, Pellegrino off the edge of the cliff. And uh, last weekend, Arsenal, uh, a very spirited performance, but we have seen spirited performances for a few times this season, you know, against you guys earlier this season, December, against Man City, against Man United. The top clubs we tend to do well this season, but seem to just fall apart against the clubs that are near us. Uh, but two goals last weekend away at Arsenal. You know, hopefully we can take some positives from that. And uh, you know, Shane Long got on the score sheet, and Charlie Austin is back amongst the goals as well. Mm. Charlie Austin, I've, I've always, I've always rated, and we always talk about him. I always find him a danger man. Is he going to be a starter for you this week, or is he? Does he? How, what, he's normally sat on the bench, isn't he? Yeah. So he's been out. Um, he was out for uh, thirteen. 14 weeks on the sidelines for his injury. Picked up a hamstring injury. Uh, Huddersfield just before Christmas. And he came back for the West Ham game. Managed 80 minutes at the London Stadium uh, last weekend. So everybody was surprised by that. Nobody expected it. Done well. Seems like he's fit enough. But didn't start against Arsenal. Came off the bench. Obviously made an instant impact. Got himself into great areas. I expect him to be on the pitch in the, um, in, on the start on 11 against Chelsea. Shane Long picked up a little injury. Came off maybe precautionary, but you know we, we set up to, to defend five men at the back. Uh, you know five four one at times when we're defending, uh, three four uh, one two or three four three five two when we're going forward. So Charlie Austin, uh, I think we'll start um, against Chelsea and hopefully uh, become an instant impact because we did that against Arsenal earlier this season. But we just need to close it off and hopefully be something different. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that Arsenal game, like you're saying, it was a very spirited performance. Coming into this tie, obviously, it's another or top team. I use that huh. very, well, inadvertently, in inverted commas, uh, in quotation, sorry. Um, realistically, Chelsea, let's be honest, we are not performing to what many would consider the capabilities of the squad we have. I mean, I, I, I you've got players like Hazard in it. You've got, uh, obviously, we signed our arm right from Real Madrid. He's not exactly had the best season. Um, Fabregas and and Galo Cante is the, probably one of the only consistent performers alongside Aspilicueta. Are you feeling a bit more confident facing Chelsea at this time? Uh, well, as we were saying on the other video, you know Chelsea been very underwhelming this season, and uh, you you were saying to me off camera just a minute ago as well. Chelsea picked up only twelve points since the turn of the year. We'd absolutely die for twelve points in this situation. Um, I think Chelsea are there for the taking. Uh, Arsenal were there for the taking last weekend as well. They're, as you say, a wounded animal. These two clubs, Chelsea, Arsenal, wounded animals at the moment. I think we've got what it takes to try and sneak something, but it's just the manner and the way that we need to see off these games. What we need to do, come straight out the blocks again, like we did against Arsenal. I think we've got a fair chance of taking something from Chelsea. Obviously, I think all of your eggs, mm. eggs are going to be in one basket, playing for the FA Cup. That's obviously going to be another tough, tough, um, tough uh, game in a week or so time and we're going to absolutely love a, a, a game at Wembley obviously you guys have got history there mm. winning the M the FA Cup at Wembley so many times so uh, long shot but we'd absolutely love to take the FA Cup from where mm. 
Yeah, I mean, we are facing each other in a week's time as well. We'll do a preview for that game as well, definitely, and sort of review slash, mm. well, review this game and then preview that one as well, baby. Do that in one video. Um, but, you know, we, like you're saying, a wounded animal. Who, are, who other than Charlie Austin, who is going to be a key player for Southampton? Who's been uh, a bright spark in what has been a rather poor season or is it just a complete shambles <laughs> it's been a shambles from from back to front most of this season to be honest mate um alex mccarthy's been he done well okay for the first few weeks as he came back replaced fraser forster cedric has been shambolic defending the last few weeks out muscled pushed off the ball with every opportunity again out muscled for the last goal uh for arsenal at the weekend he is starting to dip off quite Quite uh, tremendously as well, you know, going off the radar. We're going to miss Jack Stevens. He's going to be off for three three weeks because his suspension got sent off against Arsenal. Swinging for Jack Wilshere. I'm sure a lot of Chelsea fans were uh, were happy for that. Someone to give him a bit of his own medicine. Wilshere yeah. tried to rip his own shirt off him, so don't blame him, you know. So I, I it's likely yeah. going, likely going to be Yoshida and Hoot to um, to come in as a back four with Bertrand. Mm-hmm. Um, elsewhere there's not really too much going on to be honest I want to see Josh Sims on the pitch mm. young lads mm. very tenacious very direct uh, not afraid to run at players and he could cause you know your, your wing backs all sorts of problems otherwise you're scraping mm. the barrel mate honestly yeah I mean it, it is going to be a tough running you guys obviously I'm just looking at the table now it is very 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 tight down there um, realistically I mean, if I just have a look at the points total now, uh, come on, help me out. 28. Yeah, real, re, yeah re, you're, on, you're on 28 points. And, you know, you are three points away from Crystal Palace, um, obviously in 17th. It is very tight down there. Realistically, any team from 14th, down, 14th maybe even 13th, could still go down. <laughs> What are your hopes of staying up? Do you, do you feel positive about it still, or are you preparing for life in a championship? Uh, do you know what? I think selfishly, I'm probably thinking about a championship already. But as you say, the Premier League, anybody could beat anybody on the on any given day. But I think realistically, looking at the fixtures, um, you're probably looking at about five points, two draws, and a win somewhere along the next uh, six games for us. Would probably keep us up because you're what we're doing. Also, we're relying on other teams around us to 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 keep losing. You know, none of the other teams around us, all the way up to uh, well, nobody in the bottom half of the table won last weekend. So that goes to show how inconsistent the bottom half of the table has been. We are looking at mm. a different team every single week above us. Last this week it's Crystal Palace. Last week it was um, you know West Ham before we played them. So it changes every single week, you know. We're three points, but also we've got a favourable goal difference over over Huddersfield. Um, but we're also on the same goal difference as Crystal Palace and Swansea. So it's, you know, it, it, for me, I think it's going to come down to the last game of the season and the game at Swansea, the games at Leicester, the game at home to Bournemouth, huge, absolutely huge. And if we get anything against uh, Everton, against Chelsea, I think we've got a good chance of staying up. Mm. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that all goes the rest of the season. But anyway, guys, if you are down at St. Mary's, make sure you come and say hello to us for fan camps. Make sure you head over to Freddie as well. I'm sure he'd love to get some opposition fans talking about what they thought of Southampton and what they thought of the game. Obviously, head over to the Ugly Inside as well, where you can see my opposition preview for Chelsea. Uh, as well as that, make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea. All social media stands on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. Also, please, 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 and I'm going to keep reinforcing it, and I'm, it's, I sound like I'm begging it, and I don't normally do it, please vote for us in the FBAs this year. We'd really, really love to be nominated. We haven't felt it was right to uh, push for it, and then as soon as we hit that 50,000 mark, I finally thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Uh, and if, if not, give Freddie a vote as well. Freddie works hard. He's on his own a lot of the time, so he needs he needs help, basically. So <laughs> give, give, him, like, give him a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get him to go to the FBAs as well. But yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe to both channels here. Uh, for the content on match day and we'll see you very very soon cheers Freddie for coming on and guys take care